as we've got Halloween approaching, I thought I'd do a quick video on how to carve a pumpkin for Halloween. Now it's a great one if you've got kids to get them involved because they can actually do quite a lot of this and at the end of it, they've got something that looks really good. Now with this sort of pumpkin, when you've made it and you've put your candles in there, obviously what you can do is you can pop it outside on Halloween, the people come knocking on your door, trick and treat, give them sweets, otherwise, this would make a really nice centerpiece if you was doing a sort of Halloween meal. You know, turn the lights down, light the pumpkin up, looks really good. So go and carve yourself a pumpkin and enjoy. Happy Halloween. So to get cracking on this pumpkin, now I've got my pumpkin, I've got a good sized one, fairly large one. Now with your pumpkin, have a look at it, because some of the imperfections sometimes can be part, you know, incorporated in the face that you're gonna sort of carve out. So go and get yourself a good sized pumpkin and we're ready to go. Now I've also got some other things here. I've got like a little sort of, you know, felt tip pen really, just so you can kind of draw out the picture of the face if you're doing it that way. I've also got these. Now these are little pumpkin sort of cutters. These are quite good because if you've got kids involved, you know, they're a little bit safer because they're not really, really sharp and they've got a good handle to sort of do it and they're not necessarily using, you know, your typical knife. This one's actually a serrated one. So this is probably more, you know, like a saw, obviously if you haven't got the pumpkin cutters. Now for scooping it out, got a spoon there because obviously we're going to take the lid off and you need to scrape it and spoon it all out, just clear it as much out as you can. Now the other thing I've got is some little cocktail sticks. The reason I've got those is because if you go looking on the internet, you can probably find these sort of printable kind of faces and what you would do is just put a bit of tape on there and then you can use like a cocktail stick and you sort of prick all the way around the edge and that gives you loads of little dots and again all the way down here and just follow the pattern. And then once you've done that, you can rub a little bit of flour just on the outside so it highlights where the dots are and then obviously you can just start carving it out. So, you know, using the template could be a good way of doing it and, you know, there's an example, sort of template and that's how it'll look. So they look really good. Now if you're gonna draw your own, obviously what you could do is go on to like Google Images or some of these sort of photo sharing sites and just have a look at people's pumpkins they've done and it gives you a bit of inspiration and, and also how you want the shape of the eyes and the mouth and you know it's up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my one on there. I mean previously I have just sort of chopped it away and got on with it but I think today I'll draw out the eyes, the nose, the mouth just to give me an idea of where to carve it. Now next of all for cutting out I'm going to use me pumpkin cutter, just going to turn it around slightly and just push that in and you see it's like a little saw action. So just go with that and then when you get to that point you can stick that in. Try and make sure you're cutting it right to the edges and you get nice sharp edges if you can. That's it, I've done the mouth. Now. This bit inside here is the bit we want to take out. So you can just kind of pull it out a little bit. Cut it in pieces sometimes. Just helps to pop it out. So I just carry on doing that until I've got the mouth done. That do. Then we can go for the nose. So there's your nose, do the eyes, and then do the other eye as well. And again, that little bit round there. Right. So, got the eyes done. I just want to put a couple of little lines in here, going down. The 
so I haven't actually followed the lines completely, but that's all right, you know, it's just to give you a guide, really. The main thing is try and get it fairly even if you can. So we started that about there. is done for the face. Now the top of it, I'll just show you a different angle on the camera so we can see the top. Now with the top of it, where I've had my hand, all the felt tips been rubbed off, but it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Now I'm just gonna cut through a sort of spiky top, so I kind of do that all the way round. So I've gone round and I actually went round twice in the end because you just want to make sure that it's going to be a little bit easier to get off. I think if I push that in there like that, pull that off, like that. Great. So that's going to be our lid and obviously we'll put that on back on later on. So my pumpkin's all carved, so what you now need to do is to get a spoon inside and start scooping out the inside. So obviously make sure when you've, you know, cut your lid, it's big enough to get your hand in there and the spoon as well. So let's scrape it all out from inside. So I've got a little bowl there and just gonna, I'll say, get the kids involved doing this bit if you like, but just go round, try not to damage any delicate bits you've cut out in the face, but go round, loosen it off inside, and then what you can do is start, stick your hands in and grab some of it. Ooh, look at that, lovely. So let's get some water now. So I'll just carry on until we've got it all scraped out nicely. Then with the pumpkin, I'll finish scraping out the insides and also the lid with the spoon. So scrape that away until you've got all the pips and most of the, you know, what's inside out of it. So it's fairly clear. Perfect enough room for a candle there, small candle, maybe even two or three. Just, you know, I've done two or three before, make it look nice and bright. Now what I want to do next is with the face, just want to finish that off, because I want to make these look more like teeth. So what I'm going to do is use a knife, a sharp knife, so be careful, and I'm just going to trim away the orange bit on the outside, and it will just make it look a little bit more like teeth. So that's what I'm going to do next. So just to make these teeth, as I'm using this little serrated knife, I find it quite useful. Just try and cut the orange bit on the outside. Like that. And it just starts to make it look like teeth. Just finish that last little bit. Lovely. So I'll carry on doing that with all the rest of the teeth. So now I've got all the teeth showing. That looks a pretty scary looking pumpkin. So that is ready for the candle. So I think really, it's not really dark outside at the moment, but I'll pull the blinds down and I'll put some candles in there so at least you can see it. And later on when it gets dark, I might film a little bit more just so you can see it in the dark. But I think that looks a pretty good pumpkin. Now with the pumpkin, it's time to put the candles in. Now I'll pull the lid off there. Now I've got a little plate, I'm actually going to use four candles because I want mine to be nice and bright. A little bit extravagant, one will do, but uh, I want to see mine nice and bright. And that's the other reason I get a good sized pumpkin so I can put more than one candle in there. Now what I'm going to do is use these little candles and I'm just going to pop those in and then we can pop the lid on. And if you want, you can leave the lid just slightly off because then you get really nice colour on top. That looks lovely. I might actually leave it like that. So let me just show you a front shot. There you go. That's not looking too bad, is it? Now, obviously at night time when it's really dark, that will glow lovely. So later on, I'll sort of show you some more pictures when it's got really dark. But until then, think about what pumpkin you're going to do in the face and go and make a really good job of it. Get your kids involved and enjoy. Happy Halloween from the original Naked Chef.